What's up guys, Quad Rifter here. I'm just gonna give you a little instructional video about how to fly a drone. Uh, a lot of people have questions um, about operating a radio to fly a drone. Um, just gonna kinda give you a little tutorial. This is a Tyrannus X9D Plus. Um, this is a Mode 2 transmitter. So this is your throttle. This is your rudder, this is called the elevator, and this is your aileron. This is actually going to increase how fast your motors spin. This is going to turn your drone, that your rudder is going to turn it like this. Your elevator is going to tilt forward or backwards and your aileron is actually going to tilt side to side. So if you're a video game player, <clears throat> you're actually going to be thinking strafe right and strafe left. So uh, if you are a first person shooter player, this is gonna screw you completely up since it's backwards because usually this is forward, left, right, this is turn and that's up or down. So completely opposite so if you if you play a lot of first person shooters and you want to get into flying drones you're gonna have to practice just hovering to begin with um, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up and I'm kinda gonna show you exactly how everything works so here I'm about to do a test flight and kinda show you what's going on. You're pretty much just gonna pay attention to these two sticks. None of these other switches are gonna pertain to you because a lot of people fly completely different from the way I do. Most transmitters in America that you buy are going to be mode two. Um, there are mode one, two, three, and four. Unless you just want a completely different experience, you're only gonna fly mode two. I know I'll probably get comments if anybody ever views my videos if anybody ever views my videos, that I'm wrong, but mode two is pretty much what everybody in America flies. So, engines are. That's just me arming my drone. And this is throttle up. If you're a beginner, timer on. What you're gonna do is just slowly increase this, your throttle. I have a little bit of wind, so I kind of have to counteract it by going to the left. And try to take it away from me. But that's... That is your throttle, which makes it either go faster or higher, depending on the tilt. And this is your... This is your rudder. All it does is turn it. This is your aileron, which goes left or right. Four minutes. And then your elevator, which goes backwards or goes forwards. Uh, now actual flying, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn properly in most of these things, especially if you're a racer. What you're going to do is you're going to use both sticks at once. You're going to turn both to the left. So I'm going to go fly around that pole out there. Just, just use both sticks when turning. It's a much smoother turn. If you only, you only stop and turn like that, it's, it's just too slow and it's very sloppy. Three minutes. Uh, some, some, tr some transmitters are going to have a headless mode on it. And this is a headless mode, no matter which way, no matter which way the drone's pointed, I don't have to concentrate on that anymore. I can spin this thing and just fly it wherever so 
basically back is towards you. I don't have to worry about which way it's pointed. Yeah, I can go forward, backwards, while I'm spinning. Uh, I built this one. It is not a DJI Phantom, but I did use a DJI Phantom frame. But yeah, if you're looking to fly, this is a pretty good tutorial on just how the sticks work. Two minutes. And then there's also another mode, it's called rate mode. That's how you will fly most of the time when, once you get experience with this. Rate mode, you'll set a tilt and it will stay until you, until you adjust it. That is the most smooth flying you will achieve. Um, and that rate mode pretty much only affects your elevator and aileron, your right stick here. One minute. And it's just, it's so much more smooth when it's not constantly jerking back up when you let go of the stick. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the video. So I was trying to make an instructional video, couldn't zoom into him, and this um, this guy just decided to come down, perch behind us, and look like he was going to attack us. Um, and now he's coming down the tree to mess with us. Look, there he is. He's looking at us. He's staring us down. I think these squirrels are getting kind of brave in this park. Milligan Park's dangerous Ooh. when it comes to squirrels. Oh, there he is. Look. Look. It's terrifying. He is. He's not about to try to walk over here, is he? No, no. He's carrying something. Maybe he's trying to give us an offering. Look at him. Nah, he's not coming over here. He's scared of us. Maybe, maybe not up in the tree. Maybe he just thinks he's a big man in the tree. He he scared me at first because he was sitting. Yeah, and he was flicking his tail like right he was angry. there on that thing, and he was just staring at me. And he's flicking his tail. And he's over there now. Where is he? On the other side of the tree. So let's see if we can get a little closer. We're not real close. Though. Squirrels are really mean to each other, though. So we were here yesterday. He's losing his mind. <laughs> 